Hello, I'm Dr. Sunanda Kane. I'm a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and I specialize in treating patients who have ulcerative colitis as well as Crohn's disease. I want to spend just a few minutes talking to those of you out there with mild to moderate ulcerative colitis. You may know, or you may not know, that the first line therapy and that most likely the therapy that you will need is a medicine called mesalamine. A mesalamine is what helps treat and heal ulcerative colitis. It doesn't cure it, but it can give you back normal bowel function. You may have heard recently from either the newspapers, the internet, or your pharmacist that for those of you who have been on Asacol, that Asacol is no longer being manufactured. And there are several reasons why. Some of them are medical and some of them are business. What is replacing Asacol is a medication called Delzacol. And what's the difference? So Delzacol is a capsule rather than a tablet. And that's about the only difference. They both have the same amount of medicine and they're both taken to treat ulcerative colitis that's mild to moderate and are indicated for treating active disease and then keeping you in maintenance. Why was Asacol taken off the market? Well, Warner Chilcott that makes the manufacturers of Asacol were listening to patients and hearing about their concerns that the tablets were coming out whole in their stools. And certainly that can be disconcerting and a little bit frustrating if you think that your medicine is just passing through and not getting absorbed. So Delzacol is a capsule where it breaks open and the medicine is delivered. The other rationale was that there is a chemical in the coating of Asacol that's been linked to birth defects. And certainly women who, are on, who have been on Asacol who are considering getting pregnant or bearing children would be concerned about chemicals in their medications that may be linked to birth defects. Delzacol does not have that chemical in the coating and thus not an issue. Warner Chilcott is still making Asacol HD which is the formulation that has 800 milligrams rather than 400 milligrams of the active ingredient per unit and that still is a tablet. Now, just to confuse things a little bit more, for those of you who have been on Colazal, Colazal is not being manufactured either anymore. And the company that makes that, Salix, has now replaced it with Giazzo for men and Aprizo for men or women. And again, business and medical reasons why they stopped making the Colazal. So for those of you with ulcerative colitis who have been on Asacol or Colazal, your medications may be changing, but only in form and name, not in the actual drug itself. So talk to your doctor, talk to your pharmacist about these changes. There should not be any concern about you getting a flare from your disease if you have to change over to one of these other medicines.